Oh boy. See, this was a plan set up by Todd to come back to Tiny and T.I. with the bull crap. Okay? Hey guys, listen, welcome to Kitchen Table Talk Live with Spiller Boy TV. This is the thing. This is the thing. I'm being funny. I'm being funny. But truly, you see who's up here. T.I. and Tiny and King, their son, King Harris. And it really isn't funny. It truly, it's not. Nothing about it is funny. Um, a few words actually come to mind. Gratitude humbleness, child, some act right, and shut up. Like, seriously, there was this whole situation that ended up happening in the public where it's the basic rules. Wherever you show out is where I show out. But this didn't even have to go there. They were literally, as a family, they're out of Falcons game. And this just seemed like a situation. It, this is something that would have happened in your living room at a, a cookout or, or during a, some type of a holiday gathering where family members are, there's some underlying stuff going on, but they're talking. And then the conversation goes a little bit left. No, but not that far left. And then people get in their feelings and you got a child who is just that king, sweetheart. You are a child. You're 19. You're 19. You're 19. And what you display, young man, you talk to Tiny and Tia, Tiny and Tia like they were 19. Like you were their parent and they weren't your parent. There was no chill. I wouldn't care how you grew up, where you grew up. And it, it, the whole argument, because it turned into an argument, it was just a conversation. It was just a conversation. You could tell they were just poking at each other and talking. And he wants to be the big man on board. He wants to sit and, and have a, a grown-up conversation about areas. You only been around for 19 years. Some of what they were talking about, you couldn't even remember because it never happened to you. Somebody in the crowd said, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Have you ever woke up with a roach in your ear? So what is this whole argument you're making about how you grew up so hood, basically? King, your name is King Harris. Your father is rapper T.I. Your mother is group member of Escape, Tiny Harris. She's a reality star. What you know about growing up poor? You ain't never grew up poor, boy. Are you crazy? And the two people that you decide to flip on and talk badly to at an event. You all are at an event. At an actual game. They're there with peers. I'm sure there's some fans around. And you are showing your natural black ass. Telling them about how you grew up and telling them that they capping. They're capping about how you grew up. You swearing that you grew up so bad and so impoverished, basically, and we all know better. And I mean, it was like they were poking Josh and Willem at first. And, you know, they were entertaining him at first. And, you know, you could tell they were joking. Like when uh, they said, yeah, you lived over at your grandma. You cried to be able to want to go over and stay with your grandmother. I know how that feels, King, because I went and I stayed with my grandmother. I didn't have no problem with my mama, but I loved my grandmother so much that I wanted to be up underneath her all the time. So I actually went and stayed with my grandmother when I was younger, and I went and I stayed with my grandmother. Still in the same neighborhood. 
I was literally within the streets. I walked, you know, walked back for whatever. But I basically stayed over at my grandma's because I just wanted to be up underneath her. And you're going on and on. I think your thing was the same way. Like you didn't go over to your grandmother's because your mother and father wasn't about shit. You went over to your grandmother's because that's where you were. Now you already came out and told some, you know, what you didn't need to tell about the fact that you lived with the grandmother. You didn't really live in, in the house. So the reality show, you made your family come across disingenuous with what they actually showed on television. See, they should have got you together back then because you were already spiraling out a little bit. And then there's just been other little things that you've done. The things that you've done that have been in the social media and they've been cleaning up all come from the stuff because of how you were raised. Normal folks don't be jumping on folks and hitting folks and not getting in trouble. But when you're a King Harris, you can do all that old foolishness and not really get in too much trouble. And you just were going on and on and on and on. And you're having altercations with adults out in these streets. Like, boy, stop it. Nobody needs to know the inner workings of the house like that. And then you're literally talking to T.I. like he ain't nobody. You're capping. You're capping. I know you. I know you. That is your father. He's not an absentee father. He's your father. Yeah, he know you know him because he pays for you to have all the things that you have. You over there stand with grandma. Grandma ain't making, where grandma get to be so popular that grandma's making everything happen? Them teeth you got in your mouth, all 92 of them come from Tiny and T.I. Tiny and T.I. And you talking to these people like they ain't worth a dime. Like they ain't worth a dime. And you know, listen, Tiny and T.I. get into a lot of problems. And nobody's perfect parents. So I'm not saying that they're perfect by all means. Nobody's perfect parents. And they stay into too much stuff in the media for them to ever be perfect parents. But are you freaking kidding? And they're just trying, they were really keeping everything light. Like when they said, you know, boy, you wanted to go over your grandmother's because you was able to do what you want to do over there. I understand because I was able to do whatever I wanted over my grandmother's child. But you over there sucking on a pass if I tell you 12 years old. And, you know, it was really keeping it light. And then you just went there. You know, you went to a point where it was getting, you were getting to be really disrespectful. And you could tell in the video, Tiny saw where it was going. She saw where it was going. And that's what she tried to, 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 to douse the flame out. And she told you, shut up, shut up, shut up, stop it, stop it. Calm down. We're only joking. It's only jokes. This is not that deep. Calm down. And you, he pushed Tiny. He like, he, and I don't know that he meant to push, you know, it wasn't like, like he was a, like assaulting or pushing her, but you were doing too much. He, he handled her and then it became naturally, it's going to end up being physical between him and Ted. And, and I mean, all this foolishness, I'm about business. I'm about business. Well, what is business, um, little boy? What is business? You know, the business that I was, I thought T.I. was, well, and Tiny knew that T.I. was getting ready to give you was this kind of business. That's the kind of business that you was getting ready to have. Because, see, now you got him out here in the street. You questioning him and literally tested his gangster in front of people, which is embarrassing as hell. You're loud. And he told you, he said, you're embarrassing yourself, which was key for you're embarrassing me. Because if you embarrass yourself, you're embarrassing him and Tiny. Like they gave you, I sat and I watched that clip. My head was hurt. I was so irritated. I wanted to give you a taste myself. It was just ridiculous. And you just kept going. And you just kept going. I, and I really thought Tip was going to get. I believe that's what was coming. And Tiny 
So no, 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 no. But I mean, he ended up snatching him up. You know, he ended up snatching him up and and told him, you can't do nothing with me. It just went straight cold ghetto. That ghetto that you was talking about, that's exactly what you ended up getting, that energy. Now y'all out in the street. Look, we're all talking about it. Just unnecessary and ridiculous. And this one is not on tip and, to you, and tiny. This is on you, King. You did this. You did this. And truly, you know, that's one of them things that I kind of be shying away from when people say, you're embarrassed in the family, but you truly did. You literally embarrassed the family. You did. You embarrassed the family. This one was all on you, baby. This one was all on you. And it was so unnecessary. It was so unnecessary. It made absolutely no sense. It did not have to happen. And then you went on to social media and then you're typing this, oh, I'm about business mess. You're talking about your, your, your father. And you made a statement, you know, if you, you know, it, he made some, some statements that like, you don't, you don't do me, you know, that led us to believe that him and T.I. don't have like a really good relationship. But, well, who needs to know that? Who needs to know that? This this is just, it's a travesty. It's a travesty. And I, I promise you, he's really kind of unhinged. I don't think we've heard the last of this. I don't. I don't think we've heard the last of this. And that's one of the few times, because, you know, T.I. Can, can be nasty when he wants to. But I think he, he demonstrated a lot of, you know, restraint with King. And King just kept going. He just kept going. He just kept going. And the more, T, it seemed like the more T.I. tried to stay calm, the more of that that we got from King. It was just ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It really was ridiculous. Anyway, so listen, that's really all I have to say about this. Um, this was one of the times when I kind of I wish that what happened at the home would have stayed in the home. Um, again, some of this, maybe if y'all would have stopped him earlier, maybe if you would have addressed some of these things earlier, this wouldn't have happened. But it just, I'm telling you, when he first said, I'm about business, I, so what does that mean? What does that mean? You tested him. He was testing them. Listen, a mess, a mess. But whatever, y'all need to go ahead and get a handle on him. Get a handle on him and try to fix this before it goes any further. Fix this before this goes any further. We don't need to hear no more of this. We really, really don't. All right, you all. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. King, take a chill pill, darling. And, and, and feel like